Forward pressure. Drop. And again, I don't go to my knee in a match. I keep this anchor and I drop and wrap. Okay. Chest back on top of my fingers. Now, it doesn't matter what side we're going to, but we're going to keep going to our left for now. So I'm going to keep going to my left, keep going to my left. Now, when I get to my butt, I'm still thinking eight points of control. Now, the biggest thing I've got to do at this point is stretch. He's going to be flexing his core, and he's going to start to be fighting hands and all that stuff. Before he does that, I'm going to stretch. i got to break his core. Now, this is what we do when we stretch. High hand side always kicks. And when I kick, I kick high hand side to my low hand side shoulder. So when I try to turn him with this crab ride, my high hand side, which is my left hand, is always gonna kick to the shoulder of my low hand side, which is my right. So everybody see that? High hand side always kicks to the low hand side. That's my elevator foot. Look at my bottom toe. It's trapping his bottom leg, and look at his hip. His hip, his hip, when I turn him, is on top of my knee. It's not sitting outside of my lap, because that's not the whole eight points of control. We wanna keep eight points of control, whether I have a wrist and a claw, a thigh pry and a claw. I don't sacrifice control on top based off position if I can make it, if I can help it. Okay, so double thigh pry jam. Toes are running, toes are running. Shoulder drops, wrap, back on top, okay? As I wrap and start to float to get to my crab right position, as soon as I get here, I'm stretching, okay? Stretching, kicking, trapping, looking for that wrist right here, okay? Bottom toe trapping, high hand side kicking, and I'm looking to stretch right here. Don't worry so much about grabbing this wrist because it'll always be there, okay? It's gonna be trapped near his ribs. It'll always be there. And then I just stretch right here, get my count, and then I let him belly down when I'm ready for him to belly back down. I might hold for six here and just let him fight a little bit and panic, and then I'll start coming back up on top. So what would I have when I came back up on top? What did I have in my hand? And then I just go back to work on top. You guys are going to be scoring 20 plus points on top easily, all right, with a good rhythm. All right, everybody go. So I'm going to jam forward, big wrap, go away from my claw, high hand side kicking, stretching with my claw, with my thigh pry. Okay, jam, wrap, float, 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 float. Get to this position right here. Stretch, high hand side kicks, right here, okay? And again, maybe I don't even get this turn. Maybe I get here and he fights down. Man, I like my chances. He bases back up, right into my turn. So maybe I don't even get my claw till the turn. Maybe I get a quick two count, then he bellies down, I feed it to the wrist, right back into my cross wrist tilt. I'm telling you, we'll build and build and build. You guys are gonna be animals here in a couple hours. All I want you to do is high hand side kick. Here, high hand side kick. Bottom toe trap. Squeezing, <coughs> just getting your turn right here. All right, bottom toe over the top trapping. Any questions? What's up? One more time. Let's face that way. So, double thigh pride jam. 